No mercy for a Cincinnati serial killer. A jury says Anthony Kirkland should die for his crimes. A judge will make a final decision at the end of the month. Evan Millward is live outside the courthouse with a surprising reaction from the Hamilton County prosecutor. Evan. Well, Tanya, first Joe Dieters called the jury's quick recommendation today a win. It took them just two and a half hours to reach that decision, and it is not the first time Anthony Kirkland has been sentenced to die in the state of Ohio. This is the second. The first was in 2010 when he was convicted of raping and killing two teenage girls in Cincinnati, Esme Kenny and Cassania Crawford. He appealed that sentence and the state Supreme Court sent it back based on something Dieters said to the jury in closing arguments in 2010. As he left court today, Dieters described the emotional days of testimony, so many of them in the last week or so, but seemed frustrated that it may take years for those families to see justice. He's going to outlive me. I mean, death row is the safest place in Ohio. I mean, these people just don't get, they don't do, they, judges sit on the cases and they're, it's ugly what happens on death row in Ohio. And so, um, at some point, you know, hopefully justice will be carried out. Yeah, Kirkland's defense team had argued that he had uh, traumatic brain uh, injuries and PTSD from a traumatic, abusive childhood. And he himself made a plea to the jury just late last week asking for them to spare his life. Judge Dinklocker will have the final say on sentencing on August 28th. We're live outside the Hamilton County Courthouse in downtown Cincinnati. I'm Evan Millward, 9 on your side.